The race for a vaccine continues. Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine showing an average of 70% effectiveness. The announcement coming after a string of positive news last week from Moderna and Pfizer. We're going to start right there at this hour with Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani, who is standing by with the very latest. Anjali, it feels like every Monday we kick off the week with positive news on the vaccine, which is certainly a good one today. The very latest from Oxford AstraZeneca. That's right, Akiko. I'm used to waking up in a full panic every Monday morning now. Uh, just kidding. So AstraZeneca, of course, out with the news from its UK and Brazil trial uh, trials uh, that the data shows that, largely speaking, two full doses produces a 62% efficacy rate. Meanwhile, they tried a half dose as a first one, uh, followed by the second dose in full, and that produced a higher efficacy rating. Uh, but some have pointed out that that is, of course, in a small smaller subsets. Uh, now, we did get a chance to speak to the executive vice president, U.S. head, Ruud Dober, earlier, um, and he discussed all this and just explained basically that all of this data is going to be revealed, you know, for the public to see, which of course we know is the most important part of getting uh, news like this uh, later this week, and that they are going to be in touch with the FDA about what this means for the U.S. trial. We know, of course, that was paused uh, for some time due to an adverse event in the U.K. trial and withheld um, for quite some time afterwards. Um, and so they have had uh, some delay in that. So as it stands right now, this is great news. The U.K. is going to be largely benefiting from this because they do anticipate rolling out the vaccine soon. Um, but of course, this adds to the idea of multiple options and multiple technologies that will now be used to respond to the virus. Akiko. Yeah, it, it seems that way, uh, Anjali, too. The, you know, when we talk about effectiveness, obviously 70 percent, 90, depending on where you tease out the data uh, from AstraZeneca and Oxford here. We'll, we'll see what comes in the final uh, readout. But when we talk about the other progress being made, it's not just there on the vaccine front, which again, we should stress, 70% would still be rela well ahead of, of where we've seen the flu vaccine come in on average over the last 10 years. But Regeneron also won ex uh, emergency use authorization from the FDA for its antibody cocktail that was given to President Trump when he was battling COVID-19 earlier this year. Uh, it seems like a lot of the tension's been on the vaccine front, but, but Anjali, talk to me about the progress that's being made in some of these drugs getting approved to help treat patients, some that are in the hospital and, and some even before they get there. That's right. Um, so uh, antibody treatments specifically have had a lot of attention on them because they they provide a different level of protection um, and a different level of treatment than just any other drug. We know antivirals have been used, arthritis drugs are being tested, and so there's a, a, a huge buildup um, of potential there. Now, we know that with Regeneron, of course, that was the drug that the president did receive um, and that has been touted widely. Now, antibody treatments also offer um, the protection in lieu of a vaccine for those individuals that cannot receive vaccine, so that's one promise there. Meanwhile, while Regeneron also noted that it's a treatment can be used for kids ages 12 and older. So that, uh, you know, expands uh, sort of the market for them in terms of where this drug will, will and can be used. Um, now, they also noted that uh, supply is going to certainly outpace the demand initially, uh, but they're hoping to sort of meet that uh, come 2021. So that's where all of that stands right now. We also heard uh, from Imperial College London last week uh, that they saw some hope for uh, Roche's anti, uh, sorry, arthritis drug, Actemra, uh, the company is staying pretty cautious uh, on that news and saying that, you know, it is still in the works and we'll still wait to hear more. So that's where it stands right now, Zach.